Hey friend, welcome to the Mom Fluence Podcast. I'm your host, Sonia Cacique. I'm a mom of twins, a licensed school counselor, an educator, and an entrepreneur. This is our community where we get to walk together while building a network of people and resources so we help our kids reach their personal goals and career aspirations. You'll hear episodes with tools and strategies while also sharing stories from a wide variety of experts in the field. Because truly as moms, we are our kids' most influential influencer. So come with me and let's get started. Hey friend, welcome. This is Sonia Cacique. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We all just came back from a holiday weekend, so hopefully this week is going by super fast for you. If this is your first time listening, welcome, welcome, and thank you for listening in. Whether you're listening while you are driving, to or from work, cleaning a home where life is happening, going on a walk or run, or simply going through the grocery aisle, thank you for tuning in. You are what makes this podcast a success by listening in and sharing with a friend. I love to see how our community is growing so organically and I truly feel the love. So I wanted to take a minute to announce that soon we will be having episodes titled Career Spotlight, where we will open the world to the many career opportunities out there. If you know of anyone who is crushing it in their field, who are financially successful and who are loving and are passionate about what they do, I want to hear from them. Know of that friend or even yourself that would like to share how you got to where you are today, send me a DM at momfluence.podcast on Instagram. Text, call, or email that friend you are thinking of and tell them they need to share their story on our podcast. We all want to build community and network of friends in various careers who are driven, passionate, and loving what they do with all of us. And so we can forward that knowledge and what we hear about with our children. This is time to shine the spotlight on them. I'm super excited about this, friend, so can't wait for y'all to hear what we have coming. Today, not only did I want to bring light as to what else is to come, but I also wanted to share with you a story that I think you will feel in your heart today. I promise you will leave encouraged and motivated to see your child through a whole different set of lenses. So depending on your parenting personality and style, we may be putting too much pressure on our kids to perform and others, maybe not enough pump me up words of encouragement. And even if you do have words of encouragement, we may see our kids as who they are today based on their current performance, right? So let me give you some context. My bestie and I were messaging back and forth, and she mentioned to me about the law of attraction, which we all know or have heard of, right? Well, just in case, let me share it with you. The Law of Attraction is a philosophy suggesting that positive thoughts bring positive results into a person's life, while negative thoughts bring negative outcomes. I don't know about you, but personally, I find myself telling my kids to think positive and to say words of affirmation, to not think negatively. But this next story really has me thinking if I'm doing enough by encouraging them to think positive, to focus on the good, and to look at the bright side. I'll come back to this after our story. Let me share with you this remarkable story. So Trevor Moad, an author and sports psychologist who used to work with professional athletes, shared a story about an SAT score that changed a man's life. Trevor Moad has since passed away, but his story still brings a significant impact on others, and I had to share it with you. So in his story, he retells how his father had come home one day from a Toastmasters meeting. If you don't know Toastmasters, it's an international organization that holds meetings to help and encourage others to improve their public speaking, communication, and leadership skills. So Trevor's dad had attended one of these meetings and had shared with Trevor that a successful magazine entrepreneur had changed his life after taking the SAT. 
The SAT's purpose, as you know, is to measure a high school student's readiness for college. So this man, sharing his story, mentioned that back when he was in high school, he was a junior flunking out of high school and struggling, and his mother urged him to take the SAT. Honestly, this kid was not expecting to do well, but took it just to please his mom, who was a single mom, actually, and um, just doing her best to raise her child. Well, to his surprise, and surprise to others, he scored a 1480 out of 1600 on the SAT. And what does a mom ask immediately? Did you cheat? <laughs> and he actually swore to her that he did not. So what did this boy do? He realized he was smart. It started going to school and actually showing up to class. He stopped hanging out with his old crowd and started hanging out with a new crowd. Teachers started noticing this change and also start treating him differently. He graduates from high school and goes on to a community college where he graduated and then move on to Wichita State and eventually to an Ivy League college. He ends up becoming the successful magazine entrepreneur and does extremely well for himself. At this point, Trevor mentions that he was thinking, okay, so this guy was always smart and he just needed a standardized test to unlock his potential, right? But... His dad said, no, that's not the end of the story. What comes next is the shocker. He said that 12 years after, he gets a letter in the mail from Princeton, New Jersey. He doesn't think anything about it, but the next day, his wife asks him if he's going to open the letter. He opens it, and it turns out the SAT board periodically reviews their test-taking procedures and policies. He was one of 13 people sent the wrong SAT score. Yikes. He actually scored a 740. Wow, friend. Can you believe this? One score changed this guy's life. One score. Why? Well, because he started seeing himself through another set of lenses. Not only himself, but others started seeing him that way too. Our mind and the way we see ourselves is so powerful. Now, each of our individual circumstances at home with our children will all be different. Your relationship with your kids will vary. No two homes will be the same. Raising our children did not come with a manual for all of us to follow step by step. But what I challenge you, friend, right now is to see your child through a different set of lenses. Trust me, I'm very guilty of this myself. But let's stop telling our kids to think positively or to focus on the good. Instead, let's us as parents be the example of this. Let's do it ourselves by using words of affirmation, especially on the times we are ready to criticize. Again, I'm saying this to myself too. I will never forget this story of motivation and encouragement. So if you have a child that is struggling to get motivated, tell him or her that you see how motivated he is when he's ready to play his video game or to go out with his friends, how motivated he is when he's determined to win the game, whether he wins or not, acknowledge what your child is doing in the process, all the positive things he is doing right now. Those small nuggets of positive affirmation will reap great rewards. How about, instead of telling him or her how they can improve on a sport or subject matter in school, we ask them what they felt they did well and if there is an area where they want to improve so we can be there for support. So instead of telling our child to think differently, let's us talk to them differently and lead by example. If you have older children, this is a great story to share with your child too. So they also see how just being surrounded by a different crowd and their environment can really make an impact in one's life. 
And friend, the mind is very powerful. But remember, our kids can't always do it alone. If they have grown up thinking more on the negative side, then it is much harder for them to change overnight. But it is much easier for them to pick up on our own change and in how we see them. How we as parents behave, speak, think, and tell them on a daily or regular basis is what they're going to pick up faster. Trust me, friend, I get it. This can sometimes be hard, especially when us moms, dads, caregivers, we're so busy with work and keeping our homes up, feeding our family and all the other responsibilities and the many hats we wear. But let's get motivated to start change within so we can share and pass on that change to our kids. Who knows? Maybe one day they will be sharing words of affirmation with us to lift us up when we most need it. I hope this really motivated you, friend. I love our time together and can't wait to hear from you personally. So DM me on momfluence.podcast and let me know what you think. Tell me what you plan to do differently today this evening or tomorrow morning when you see your kiddo. What are the first words they will hear from you? Have a wonderfully great day. I'll talk to you soon. Hi friend, thank you for listening in. If you enjoyed this episode, it would mean so much to me if you share it with a mom friend. Send it to her right now. Or even better, tag me on your Instagram story so I can personally thank you for helping me build our community. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Let's keep in touch and I'll talk to you soon. Adios.